our time is gone the second mystery that commands exemption aside from putting God first in everything is the mystery of kingdom service write it down the mystery of kingdom service I'm going to be very fast please write it and we'll pray kingdom service is promoting the interest and the purposes of God on earth promoting the interest and the purposes of God on earth it's an extension of your love and your passion for God kingdom service what is kingdom service serving God for a living serving God for a living kingdom service is not just cleaning chairs no 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 serving God for a living there are three dimensions to kingdom service maybe we'll just touch one and then next week we can take the other one I wanted us to finish because we'll start a series let's see how God will help us number one the first proof or the first index to measure your kingdom service is soul winning and establishment soul winning and soul establishment Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 soul winning and soul establishment brothers and sisters is a jackpot of breakthrough look at me anybody who tells you working for god does not pay is lying to you and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and they that turn how many many to righteousness they shall be as the stars that's their reward for turning many to righteousness soul winning is not for evangelists proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 please give it to us quickly proverbs 11 verse 30 soul winning as a demonstration of your service to the kingdom it says and the fruit of the righteous is as a tree of life and he that winneth souls very clearly he that winneth souls is what wise and the bible speaking about wisdom says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness long lasting riches not 10 years and you are down forever wisdom wisdom that when you win souls it is a service to the kingdom that compels god to bless you second corinthians chapter 5 from verse 18 to 20 very interesting scripture second corinthians chapter 5 quickly please verse 18 to 20 the bible tells us that god has given us both the ministry and the word of reconciliation two things both the ministry and all things are of god who had reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and had given us what's the first thing it's an assignment he didn't give pastors he gave all men the ministry of reconciliation next verse to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and had committed unto us what the word he didn't just give you the ministry he gave you the word what to say how to get men saved not just the passion and the assignment both the ministry and the word look at me one of the biggest secrets to the growth of any flourishing ministry is soul winning not revelation I don't care how deep that ministry is a ministry that trivializes soul winning will never grow go and search your Bible search modern history search today I say it without any sense of shame find out a ministry no matter how deep they are in the things of God healing deliverance prophecy revelation whatever if soul winning is not an outspoken priority 
you never will find God trusting them with people. Most people think soul winning is a basic thing in Christianity. It's for people who don't have anything else to offer. Is that true? What Jesus died for? Everybody says soul winning. There are some of you who can win souls and win your way out of every trouble. You watch people who have not turned to righteousness. You watch people, you are coming for koinonia, you move around and you watch lives and destinies languishing and going to hell. And it doesn't bother you because you feel apostle will come and do it. Your passion for souls. There are people here who God has lifted in strange ways. They make it as a point of contact to both win souls and draw them to the house of God where they will be saved. Shortly, I'm going to make an altar call. And almost everyone who will come out here was invited by somebody. You have won a soul. Let me tell you, every time you bring a soul to God, as he's getting born again, start clapping. It's like taking a check to a bank. While you are clapping for his eternal salvation, clap for yourself too. Because the devil is watching. You have saved the soul and authorized yourself for exemption. A woman can win her way out of barrenness. That you sit down and say, Satan, you claim you will not give me a child. I need three children. I will win five souls for every child. And you go out and you win five and say, that's my firstborn. Let's see the devil that will stop your womb from taking it. If you don't have womb, the baby will grow anywhere. After all, germs grow anywhere. Fibroid grows anywhere. Growth grow anywhere. It doesn't matter where the baby grows. The most important thing is that he comes out after nine months. Are we together? Koinonia is heavily protected, among other things, by the mystery of soul winning. I have passion, genuine passion for souls. Not fake that pastors just do and cry. Genuine passion for souls. You are talking to somebody. He says somebody else has, talk, has spoken to me. Say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That somebody spoke to you does not mean you were born again. I'm still talking to you. Koinonia, hear me. I challenge you. Begin a serious project of soul winning. Instead of gossiping on Facebook. Discussing matters of people that are not your business. Writing things about men of God. Somebody, I was, I was, I was shown somebody who tried to write a, a, some things about me. Thinking he knows me. And I said, look at, do you see these foolish people? He would have used that time and that unit to win a soul. Do you know the joy in the heart of a father? When one person comes to stand before Jesus. Listen, every time we pray for crowd, God sees my heart. It is never for a name. It is never to build an empire. I'm smart enough to know how to be famous. I'm intelligent enough to be able to write books. Souls. Souls. That when you win souls, it's on your record. The Bible says there is joy in heaven. Since you got born again, let me tell you, it's a shame as a believer. If right from the beginning of this year till now, you have not contributed in anyone's coming to the kingdom. It's a shame. You are doing the same thing an irresponsible man does to not bring food to a house. The same way we say a man is stupid for not bringing food to his house. Imagine a man married and comes home empty-handed and the wife is saying, honey, where's the food? He said, food for what? That's exactly what someone does if he doesn't win souls. You watch people go to hell. The primary assignment God has given me is not just to build and equip believers. You have to save them first before they are established. Facebook, text messages, you can find a way of reaching a soul genuinely don't just say i think he's saved and talk to him and say well you see you have to be serious with god think about it then you go back smiling you didn't save him you only informed him that his life is not going well it's a different thing if he rejects but give people a chance preach to your parents preach to your loved ones you see how we celebrate so winning here many of you when people give testimonies of cars i got a car I got a plane you clap 
but they say someone got born again and somebody just knows oh that's all right let's hear the real testimony which one is the real one the car that will perish have you not grown spiritually enough to know how the the mundanity and the vanity of the things of this life that's why we pray for souls that's why as much as possible as much as god grants us grace we keep making altar calls even if nobody comes let there be a witness in heaven are we together some of you that's what you did that god lifted you that's how this ministry started we would pray for people those times before they got admission when people came beef that was before they started post ume i remember as soon as people come we're like holding them and the next thing they get born again they get filled with the holy spirit and we create room for them to be established if you heal men and don't save them they are going to hell are you hearing what i'm telling you if you give if i give you money and you are not saved where are you going to don't say heaven don't let anyone lie to you you are going to heaven you are you don't have jesus in your heart please don't let any theologian deceive you you are going straight to hell say hell there is a real place like that people left this morning they are there right now don't let people fool you and make it look as if the moment you're a nice person you go to heaven being nice does not take people to heaven if you cannot live your lifetime you deserve to go to hell if you live your lifetime without acknowledging the one who brought you you spent 70 years of your life and paid no attention to god this night i want to challenge you your phone is full of many names that are not born again you are looking at them and you are watching them god has given you access and influence over their lives many of our loved ones are on their way to hell we know it we know they are on their way to hell our roommates are on their way to hell our work people are on their way to hell our friends your husband is on his way to hell your wife some of our stubborn children are on their way to hell you can start interceding don't say any man cannot be saved that's the talk of the devil i have seen impossible people get saved there's nobody I, I, I don't believe that can be saved. Do you pray for souls? Or do you pray for money? Some of you are surprised. We are supposed to be talking about wealth. I'm showing you a jackpot of financial prosperity. God is not a, a, a journey that you crack like a charm. Souls. For as long as there is breath in me, I will keep leading people to Jesus preacher or no preacher i will make sure they love him i will make sure they love him stop discussing other things with people and don't probe their salvation people come to you and say we want to marry you talk about every other thing there is a way you can discern oh this guy is saved but there's a way you know this brother is not saved and he's about to marry a lady he's inviting satan officially to be the lord of that home you have to save it you are not just saving a man you are saving every child that will come you know believers don't be too western to be obedient take the foolishness of the word of god and be serious on tuesday you are coming for prayer department prayer band meeting is the only department that allows other people to join them you come alone you leave and you are going and you know that somebody so he, he may not be born again dear boy can be a starting point it takes a while to save souls you may not save them overnight but start introducing them to the atmosphere of god's presence the same way some of you now introduce someone here doesn't matter what religion doesn't matter what age doesn't matter what rest what, what race I have little respect for any man of God that does not pay attention to the simplicity of soul winning. I don't care what you have. The greatest people, when all is said and done, he that winneth souls is wise. You have no authorization to prosper and to ex be exempted from the, the ills and the perils that will keep languishing men.
when you are not a soul winner are you blessed we'll stop here next week we'll take on the others but listen to me very carefully tonight one of the many prayers you'll be praying is to cry for grace to have a personal revelation of soul winning i don't want you to just get emotional over what i'm saying you don't have to get tracks and move around it is your lifestyle huh there are certain businesses that in nigeria when the businesses came out people were too grateful to keep quiet they ran to people by themselves have you heard about this ah my life is changing and the person say, i'm not listening you must listen i'm not going anywhere i love you too much to leave you that's the same way that's the same way you talk to somebody are we together the person is laughing and says see you and this your god team we did it before we did this god team before and tell him you need to go back god is not a project that you do before and leave many of the people you preach to will tell you they were once saved there was no follow-up system and no structure for establishment so when the cares of life came upon them in anger if god was god why did he allow my wife die if god was god why did he allow me to fail if god was god why did he allow me to do this i left god since and they say it explain the gospel to them let them know that there is a difference between an encounter with god and understanding his principles many people think the moment i come to jesus christ everything will change and be careful how you win souls the basis of winning souls is not just to prosper them it's a submission it's a covenant of surrender and submission when two people are getting married they ask them serious questions will you be there for one another whether things go well or not they answer yes to everything and they mean it don't don't lie to people of course in christ you have access to these things but train people to love god more than things and situations don't don't make people think immediately i run to god everything will change and then an attack starts on account of their decision and they no longer can stand there are many people who have been of other religions here some of them are here listening to me they have made bold decisions for jesus and some of them we have had to come in even as a ministry to shield and help them because they they have gone and some are still going through heavy pain they deserted them financially left them for whatever reason but because they were saved well they were saved to love and live for jesus i love you jesus i worship and adore you i just want to tell you that i love you more than anything before i make an altar call while everybody is seated i want you to cry pray while you are seated cry to god with every passion in you and say lord i am sorry for ignoring souls i've been trying to do ministry and i've watched people go to hell there are people who if i had spoken to them last week last month pray lord you gave me an anointing i've been joking with it just throwing people on the floor and not paying attention to their salvation you gave me a ministry i've been playing games with it watching people look warm and unserious with god brothers and sisters let's be sincere with ourselves that's not how we started that's not how we started with god we started with the simplicity of passion for souls pray talk to god they called you pastor's wife and you were ashamed and you stopped ah they insulted you and embarrassed you and you were ashamed then you stopped outside are you praying lord fresh passion engage the mysteries that will exempt me from trouble from the grip of witchcraft from destruction
that my life will cause men to love God my life will cause men to be on fire how can I be in an environment no one is changing no one is serious no one's prayer life is rising no one's word life is growing never transfer the message to anybody you've never bought a bible for anyone never done anything to contribute to the salvation of anyone you're not acting as a genuine christian believe me brothers and sisters yet you want the anointing yet you want to be invited for crusades do you want the name or do you love god do you want the fame or do you love god do you just want the prestige and the persona or are you genuinely passionate in this place here and now lord your kingdom reign your kingdom reign in our lives in our homes your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns through my life through my life i let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign through my life through my life tonight i let your kingdom reign your kingdom reign your kingdom reign your kingdom reign above all above all your kingdom reign your kingdom reign above all above all listen forget about fame and go for souls and watch the wonder God will do with your life forget about complaining for a husband or a wife and go for souls forget about the witchcraft in your family I know you were born with witchcraft I know there are practicing people who are manipulating your destiny leave them alone and go for souls and let me see the charm that will tie you down souls don't just pay tight don't just sow seeds win souls win souls win souls you are too big to win souls you are too big to be exempted you are too big to turn many to righteousness you are too big to receive the defense of God against the vicissitudes of life but apostle I'm a shy person that's why there is grace for you but apostle I'm not a man of God the Great Commission is not for men of God my friend prayer point number two Lord every soul appointed to be saved through my life in the name of Jesus I begin to seek them and pursue them every soul appointed there is somebody that must escape hell because I am alive Lord where are they reveal them to me and give me the grace to hunt them lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray koinonia who have you appointed to be saved through my life Lord who have you appointed to be saved through koinonia who have you appointed to be saved to be serious with God through our teachings Jesus said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition that scriptures may be fulfilled and none is lost and none is lost hallelujah
before i make the altar call i want you to take two minutes find somebody that is serious and i want you to intercede for your family members and say i stop them from going to hell lord they can't go to hell i know as at now my father is not yet a christian but lord eternity in hell have mercy pray my brother my husband my wife pray for those who are saved too and are not serious there are people saved but not serious saved but not passionate Save them, O oh God. We release angels, angels of salvation. Draw them to meetings. Draw them to crusades. Draw them to meetings. We release angels of salvation. Lord, give them dreams. May they have encounters with Jesus in their sleep. May they have an encounter with Jesus in their offices. It's time for their salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are rounding up. We are going to pray for salvation through encounters. That's the strange dimension the Spirit of God is moving right now. Where men by themselves are in a room, all of a sudden they are caught up. An encounter that will rattle every stubbornness. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, we release encounters. This night, dreams. This night, visions. This night, encounters. In the beer parlor, encounters. In public places, encounters. In business board meetings, encounters. While he's preparing to go for armed robbery, encounters on the road, encounters with Jesus. The last prayer point you are going to pray and say lord i have made you first in my life and i'm committed to serving you therefore i invoke exemption upon my life i no longer will cry their cry prophesy it i no longer will go through their pain no glorious exemption from poverty Glorious exemption from sickness. Glorious exemption from failure. Are you praying? May that mystery be activated in my life. May that mystery be activated. Surely they will gather. But by this mystery, they will scatter. They will come in one way. And the Lord will disperse them in seven ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. I prophesy upon everyone here as you are laying your hands the same way a mark was put by God to Cain and said by this mark you anyone who sees you will leave you in peace he did it to a sinner Cain he put a mark right now in the name of Jesus 
as you are placing your hand on your head Shadaka to Katabara I place a mark of exemption upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me if the devil is looking for men to kill in a car accident it will not it will be minus you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the devil is fermenting trouble to destroy families cause scandal between husband and wife cause scandal between pastor and whatever in the name of Jesus minus you you are exempted in the name of Jesus hear me the same way God has exempted this ministry from financial turmoil and recession I pray upon you beginning from this night every time a man is looking for who to favor I command them to find you keep your hands I'm still praying if there is any mark just keep your hands if there is any mark upon anyone's life that brings bad luck that brings enemies that brings the wrong people that brings the wrong situations the wrong atmospheres I'm speaking to you right now that mark is erased forever 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 erased forever erased forever that mark upon your ministry that misrepresents you that mark upon your life every sincere thing you want to do men see it in another way that's the mark of the devil every time you are doing things genuinely but people keep misunderstanding you i cancel that mark from your life now put down your hands keep standing everybody there are people here who are going to run out here right now please listen carefully you are here the wickedness in the world the reality of hell the reality of the troubles that come to a life without Christ is not worth it there are several people in this place right now several people in the first and second overflow across the road online you have never genuinely made a serious decision for Jesus Christ it doesn't mean you're a bad person you've not paid this much attention to the word of God to see the need to be saved but now you are hearing me and you are saying man of God if you make a call I will come number two there are those who you are just not serious with God we don't even know what you can become today you are one leg in tomorrow you run out you, you have to stop playing games with God and keep your passion steady those two groups of people I want you to run to Jesus now our time is up please run like you are serious with God there are many outside young and old in the name of Jesus run to the front one keep coming clear the way for those outside two hey, I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back keep coming no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. Keep coming, run to Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back listen some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you are standing before the Lord of heaven the Holy Spirit is ministering to me that there are still about six people outside that he's speaking to come out now don't struggle with God the Lord is telling me that there are at least six people outside. He's talking to them. 
but they are being hardened outside specifically make your way don't be ashamed don't be ashamed you have to stand and be serious please don't come out and play games this is between you and your god keep coming quickly so that you join the prayers god bless you keep coming if your friend is trying to stop you from coming out leave your friend and come this is about your salvation this is about your destiny keep coming koinonia is sacrifice of your club motivate them encourage them let them know we're a family that is interested in their salvation hallelujah thank you so much for the courage i know it takes courage because we live in a foolish generation that ignores god and laugh and scorn out people who are serious with him but i want you to lift your right hand to heaven the one who died for you the one who saved you some of you as you are lifting up your hands you are lifting up a generation because they are in you say this passionately and sincerely you are not reciting a point salvation prayer is not a point it's not a joke say lord jesus say it again lord jesus this night i declare my love my seriousness and my desire to walk with you i repent of the way i have lived my life help me tonight i obtain mercy I declare this night that my life, my destiny belongs to you. Take it, use it for your glory. I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that I'm a child of God. From tonight, I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I stretch my hands towards these people and I pray. Let this decision be genuine. In the name of Jesus, the grace that saves and the grace that preserves, let it be their heritage. I separate you from wrong associations. I break you free from every grip of the devil that keeps you in one spot. I declare that your life begins to move from glory to glory. This salvation this genuine acknowledgement remains with you for the rest of your life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen a big congratulations to you i want you to follow the gentleman the lady waving her hands there's a gentleman and a lady they are waving their hands please all of you this way give them your correct details and we'll follow you up very appropriately god bless you all of you this way god bless you god bless you appreciate them koinonia appreciate them. hallelujah praise the lord keep standing everybody